So guys, Wonder Studio has been rebranded and renamed to Flow Studio by Autodesk. I've done a number of tutorials where I've shared with you this amazing AI tool that enables you to take footage, extract a human being, swap out a, with a robot or a CG character that you've made, custom character, and be able to render a scene just similar to this. In the past, it was Wonder Dynamics and then Autodesk bought them started adding a few, like improving tools here and there. But then today, I think I, that's when I actually realized that this has been happening behind the scenes. They've rebranded it to Flow Studio. It's no longer Wonder Studio. So I don't know if I have to go back and change all the names of my other uh, videos as you say Wonder Studio. But anyway, right now it's called Flow Studio. It's still amazing. And they've actually added two new tools that I wanted to share with you that are amazing. One of them is camera tracking that used to, used to say coming soon. And then we also have uh, the ability to just render a clean plate from a video, right? So let me show you real quick. I'm going to log into my account so you can see it, but it's amazing. <laughs> They've really done a good job of it. So up at the top here, you can see it's now Autodesk Flow Studio. It's no longer Wonder Studio. And they've, they've done a lot of work behind the scenes. And I, I was excited when Autodesk purchased Wonder Dynamics because I knew they were going to be able to take their resources, hire more people, hire more developers, and start to uh, increase the number of, uh, I guess, updates, but also the features. And one of them, of course, is uh, the clean plate that they've added. Um, so far from the testing that I've done, it still has some issues. You can still get telltale signs from it, but it's getting there. I am looking forward to seeing this improve and be able to actually replace and the, like, the background to actually look like where the character has been moved away so that you actually don't... So the idea is to suspend disbelief. And here it's still, I can still see telltale signs. Okay, so it, when you log in into your account, I'm using a pro account over here. You're gonna see on the left-hand menu, it says Wonder Tools. When you click on that, you're gonna see camera tracking and the clean plate. But do you see something here? Like as you are looking at it, you can see the telltale signs. So I think that's where AI is still struggling because it still needs information like behind there. It's gonna look at the frames before and the frames after. But, and this used to be done manually where you can like maybe rotoscoping or whatever. But now the AI is able to look behind there, look at the frames before a shot, the, before the human being comes into the shot. And they are only doing human, as of, as of the recording of this video, they are only doing human beings. They're not doing like animals and things like that. So you won't be able to remove your pet from your video just yet. But it still has like telltale issues over there. And most of the videos that I've done from using Wonder Studio, now Flow Studio, have always had that issue, right? The blurriness around the characters and things like that. Now, camera track is really important because this one you can use in a 3D program. If you have footage that you're going to composite with a live plate and a CG character, this is awesome information that we can use in Maya, in the Unreal Engine, and in Blender. But for some reason, 3ds Max is not supported. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, like really, there's a huge community that's used in the gaming industry that uses uh, 3ds Max. I don't know why they're not doing that yet. I am hoping that the team at uh, Autodesk and Wonder Dynam Dynamics are able to mm -hmm. actually do that. So anyway, I wanted to share with this with you that there's a new tool, there are new two new tools that have been added. And when you click on Clean Plate, this is going to be helpful, right? So you go and find your footage over here. Go through the process and you can tell how many seconds are left. Uh, let's actually see if I can do a quick test rear. Then go to, to my assets, the videos that I've already up uploaded, and let's take a quick look. Okay, so here's a video where I want to just remove the characters. And here I have two people. So I think in the pro plan, you'll be able to change this. And so it's good next. Here you first, you can look at this video and you can see the different stages of this particular footage of these people walking and you can play it back, right? So if you wanted to take this plate and have a clean plate so that when you do the CG character, once you remove the human beings and then swap them with your characters, then let's see what it does. Let's go to next over here. It's gonna ask you to scan the frame for actors. 
So we'll go ahead and click scan. And I'm, I'm doing this, I'm not gonna speed it up so that you actually get a sense of how long it takes. So here it has, it has identified actors, right? And there's another one over here and there's a new actor. So make sure you select the two actors, don't leave one inside. Cause if you want this as a clean plate, you wanna remove both actors, right? If you have your video only has one actor, then you do the one actor. And then go next. And then generate a clean plate and you can see what it does over here. And remember that one thing that I was telling you about the telltale signs. So the AI is not yet quite there yet. It's still struggling once the character has been moved. And in production, that, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm holding off on being too critical because I know these are the early stages, but you can see the reason why I'm, I'm a little bit hesitant uh, in praising it just yet because you can still see the telltale signs of it. So here, depending on the source footage, if the source footage was 4K, you'll be able to render a 4K plate. If not, it will go down to 1080 and even 720. And if it's even less than 720, it will tell you Okay, and then I'm gonna do 4K and then I'm gonna click on start processing. Depending on the length of your video, this will may take a little, a lot of time or not. Right here, it's saying 31 minutes to extract the video. And once it's done, I'll be able to show you the result of it. And then we can compare like the before and after so you can see what I mean. So here it's detecting the cut and saying estimated runtime is less than 30 minutes. And as it, it detects the cuts, it's looking to see if the, the footage, the original footage has multiple cuts. And sometimes it will tell you that the cut limit has been exceeded. So if you have like 10, 20 cuts in a, a clip, it will not process it properly. So there's a limit to how many cuts you can have. That's when you change camera angles so that you're seeing a whole totally different view of the scene, even though it's still the same people that you're shooting, right? So anyway, I'll, I'll show you, I'm gonna let this run through and then I'm gonna show you the result. So guys, this is the result of what the footage looks like with the clean plate. And again, with my reservations, I'm giving this uh, grace period for this uh, the team, the developers to be able to improve, but you can see the difference here. And you can see that there's still some work that needs to be done for the AI to tr truly, truly do a clean plate. So this is not yet a clean plate. It, it's a clean plate with artifacts. You know, you can actually see it. So. Anyway, that is the progress that Autodesk is making with uh, Wanda, oh, sorry, not Wanda Studio, Flow Studio. And Flow Studio is their cloud platform. So they're trying to take this capability of Wanda, what used to be Wanda Studio into their cloud, uh, their cloud platform, which is Flow Studio. Anyway, thank you so much, guys.